Let's work with the sum and difference identities. For example, let's find the exact value of this expression here by using a sum or difference identity. Now to compute this value here, without using one of these identities would be very challenging because 16 degrees is not one of our common trigonometric angles. Neither is 14 degrees. However, the sum and difference identities will be very helpful here. Let's recall these identities. Now, matching our expression here to the right-hand sides of these identities, we see it matches the third one here with A equal to 16 degrees and B equal to 14 degrees. That is, this is of the form cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B. And looking over here in our table, we know that this has to equal cosine of A plus B. Which is equal to cosine of 16 degrees plus 14 degrees. And 16 plus 14 is 30. So this is cosine of 30 degrees which is one of our common trigonometric angles. And we know that the cosine of it is square root of 3 over 2. So using these identities helped us compute this value quite easily. All right, let's look at another example. Let's use a sum or difference identity to find the exact value of this expression here. Again, pi over 8 is not one of our common trigonometric angles. Neither is 5 pi divided by 8. But these sum and difference identities can help us solve this quite easily. Again, we're going to compare our expression to the right-hand sides here. And we see that it matches this fifth one here with a equal to pi divided by 8 and b equal to 5 pi divided by 8. That is, it's of the form tangent of a plus tangent of b divided by 1 minus tangent of a times tangent of b. And looking back over here in the table, we know this has to equal tangent of a plus b. Which is equal to tangent of pi divided by 8 plus 5 pi divided by 8, which is equal to tangent of 6 pi divided by 8 or tangent of 3 pi divided by 4, which is one of our common trigonometric angles. And we know that the tangent of it is equal to negative 1. So again, these identities were very helpful in solving this problem. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.